What are you looking at? You want a piece of me or something? <laughs> Easy now. I didn't mean it like that. No need to be so on edge. Name's Mahir, though some call me the child of the sun. I'm training to be a boxer. I've not been feeling it lately, so I'm trying other ways to motivate myself. Like Queen's blood. I don't suppose you're up for a game? I definitely want to put this guy in. I got two of them, too. He's basically just a better ski ski. I think I'll keep one ski ski in. I kind of want to take Marlboro out because he's just never useful. I never get, I never get three pawns in the right spot. So like, I never get a chance to play him. Yo, Thunderhawk! Great to see you. Hope you've been well, man. No problem. But if you're, oh hey, how's it going, Psychic? Thank you guys so much for being here. Seriously. Really means the world to me and it's been great to connect with peeps we haven't seen in a while. I know it sounds uh, cringy, but I genuinely do miss you guys. My, you know, this community is who I communicate with. 12 hours out of the day, every day. <laughs> you guys are my friend group. You are the people that I interact with more than anyone else. Other than like my family. So like it really does mean a lot to me when you take the time to come down and even just to say, hey, you know? And I do genuinely miss people when they're gone. Do I double death claw here? Oh, I think we I think we ski. And for those of you that don't know, we do night streams now, every Thursday night. So if the daytime is like a really hard time for you to join, we do Thursday night streams now. They're usually really chill. And they're like a great stream to just relax to or fall asleep to. Um, those are every Thursday night. And then sometimes we do Saturday nights as well, but those are bonus. But every Thursday night we do stream now. I think we do this to try to cut off his advance here. It still feels like owning the board is the most important aspect. Hate to waste that triple, but if I can cut him off at the pass here, I pretty much win. I don't think he can do much now. Oh, okay. Good play. But we got a backup pie. Oh, we doubled down on the same play. Now this is interesting. I could do this to get the space back. And honestly, that's probably the best play. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Dude, I lowered the pumpkin's score. I lowered the pumpkin's score by one, but because I lowered it, it raised. So it didn't even lower. Uh, let's see. We could Jabberwock for some big points. I think we Jabberwock for some big points. Oh, that doesn't count. It's got to be... So it's only one... It's one for every enfeebled card, but it only goes off once. Like, if I enfeeble a card again, it doesn't count again. Which makes sense. I could drop another Rictus. And then potentially a Mind Flayer. Or I could work my way backwards. There's a lot of fun stuff I could do here, or I could just pass and win. <laughs> I should probably pass and win, but... That's no fun. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I destroy my own bat. Always go for the overkill. How many... Oh, I'm only gonna have one. Oh, but I can... I can do this. Oh, that's fast. Got a style on him. This deck is so much fun to play. I don't... I don't think it... Like, it's gonna have a limit to like how good it can be, but it's so fun to play. Not only was your defense on point, but your offense was swift and brutal. I've never played such an intense. Game. He's not wrong. It was hotter than the sun, enough to light a fire in my soul. Even I think I'm finally out of my funk, and now I can get back to boxing. Thank you. If Queen's Blood was a physical card game, would you buy the cards? Oh yeah. I already buy the Final Fantasy cards. We open Final Fantasy cards all the time on stream. If you're interested in card games, we do a lot of card stuff, but we do a lot of Final Fantasy cards in particular. I also have a mock set of Triple Triad cards that someone got me that are pretty cool. I also sell Final Fantasy card boxes if you're interested in them. They're custom made by me. They're on my site. They're a good way to support the stream, but also get something out of it. You know, not just... I mean, obviously, like, subbing, you get no ads and stuff, but... If you're looking to donate to the stream, but you want to actually, like, get something back and not just donate, they're a good way to support and get something cool. Yeah, I should, <laughs> I should reiterate, the, the cards are official, the boxes are custom made. So, like, the what you get is randomized by me. But they're the actual final fit. I'm not, I'm not drawing bombs on a card and sending it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could if that's what you're into. I, we could make it work. That costs extra. Oh, the, the Final Fantasy cards are nuts, man. They got characters from everything. Name a thing with Final Fantasy in the name. There's a card of it. It's crazy. They have even, like, before Crisis stuff. Type Zero, Final Fantasy XIV, Final Fantasy XI, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, Final, like, any, everything. It's crazy, the scope of the Final Fantasy card game. They're, they're up to, what's the newest set? Like, 23, 24? They're, like, 24 sets. 
It's crazy. A lot of people don't even like, no, Strangers of Paradise, yeah. Um, a lot of people don't realize how big the Final Fantasy card game is because it's not very big here. Uh, I'm starting to see some Final Fantasy cards in some card shops by me, but all the card shops I've gone to and talked about um, the Final Fantasy cards, they say that they're like kind of not looking to resupply them because people aren't really buying them. Um, but yeah, it's huge in Japan and even other countries. There's like Spanish. I, I If you eBay Final Fantasy cards, you can find like pretty much them in like every language so yeah they're they're really big do they got like final fantasy tactics final fantasy tactics advance final fantasy 12 final fantasy 12 uh the uh the side game what's it called it's literally sitting over there because we're gonna do it for the the after party what's it called i can't read it from here Revenant Wings, yeah. Um, yeah, man. They got everything. I'm telling you, name a character. It's probably a card. Every single class from Final Fantasy 11 and 14 has a card. Some of the, like, crazy, completely forgettable side characters in 11 have cards. <laughs> So wait, can I not just fast travel now? I can. I could just fast travel to the... I could just fast travel to the saucer. <laughs> I guess I will. Yeah, you should come by. Usually we do card streams on Mondays, but we're not doing them currently because Rebirth. Should split up to look for but usually every Monday we do card opening streams and they're really fun. And people can buy singles too. Or buy the boxes. Uh, Cloud? You got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh-huh. You see... No one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, I. But... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Good guy, Reeve. I'm not aiming for 100%? Oh, brother. I'm aiming for way more than 100%. But for the Let's Play, no. We're just trying to get through the story and do whatever... Seems fun without the Let's Play being 500 hours long. Having said that, I think the Let's Play is going to be 500 hours long. <laughs> Just doing what I find to be fun and keeping like... Doing like stuff that's interesting but not getting too overpowered. And then just finishing the story. But then of course after that we're going to be going super hard into everything. Including, hopefully, some challenge stuff and extra stuff like we did in Remake. What? Dio versus Corneo? Wait, this is gonna be epic. So, since I was pretty tough on the Wonder Square when we came last time, I still enjoyed it, but it was one of my biggest critiques. We should go back and see how much and if it's improved. So that was definitely one of my biggest complaints. Not, not really complaint, but like criticisms was Wonder Square. Hey, Kate. Come over here. I have something to show you. Hey, Kate. Hey, Kate. Something I wanna... Something I wanna show you. This out.
Sí. <laughs> Never gets old. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! He's zipping and zooming! So now we got Expert G-Bike, Limit Booster, Dark Matter, no, I'm guessing we have some, oh, Yuffie's actually like chilling here, is this my quest? No. This might just be a date point thing. Yuffie in this fantastic game. It's actually Yuffie. I'm gonna remember how to play. Oh god. I was so bad at this. That wasn't up. Wait, is she gonna do the same thing every time? No. Oh my god. <laughs> Glad I got to see that. Damn it. Wasn't up. That wasn't up. That wasn't up. How do I tell? Oh, that's down. I think I get it. Yeah, hers are really weird. That was sloppy. Yeah, I said it before, I'm not a big fan of this game, and usually I would be a big fan of something like this. Reading enemies and then reacting. Like, that's usually my favorite style of game. But something about this, it, it's a mixture of like, the tells are too hard to read your first time, so you're kind of just forced to, like, lose until you learn what it is. But then it's, like, easy, because it gives you a while to hit the button, so I don't know. It's weird. I, like, I just... It doesn't feel like something where you can learn it on the fly as it's happening and then, like, react. It feels like something where you just have to look at it until you learn it and then press the buttons. Like, I don't know. It's just... I don't really like this game at all. Like, I, I genuinely prefer the original, I think, because at least the original had a random aspect to it, so it was fun to replay. Having said that, I have not seen the new fights, so maybe the new fights are better. But, like, the, fir the original three fights were, like, kind of... Eh. That's what I pressed. Okay. 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 That was interesting. 
At least they're all ups. It's also the same every time. That one didn't even, like, give me the cue. That was interesting. Yeah, dude, I can't wait to do more Chocobo Racing. Chocobo Racing was a blast. Are we going to play, like, a bunch of different games with the party members? Because if that's so, that's awesome. I love that idea. That actually brings a little bit more to the Gold Saucer. Whereas before it was just some more mini games. Shiva! Or Dark Matter. Dark Matter. I feel like Dark Matter is going to be some like. You have to get 20 of them and then mix them to make the ultimate weapon or something. Because it feels like the hardest version of like everything gives you a Dark Matter. She looks really cool, by the way. She looks like straight up OG Shiva, which is the point. That's really cool. Yeah, that Shiva model is really awesome. Is there more to this, too? We still got to do a bunch of these because these look really fun. Like gimmick. Battlefields and stuff. All that's going to be really fun to do later. I'm really... It's it's really awesome that, you know, with some games, it's like, okay, do I do everything as I'm playing the game, and then once I finish the game, I'm done with the game? Or do I hold off on doing everything and just focus on the game and then go back and do stuff? And both have their, like, positives and negatives. But with this game... You can do so much and still have so much to do after you're done with the story, you know? Like, it feels like you can just do whatever looks fun. And then go on with the story whenever you're, like, feeling burnout. And then by the end of the game, you're still going to have so much to do afterwards, you know? So it, it's you can really just play stuff when you feel like playing it. You never feel, like, obligated to, like, well, I'm trying to do all this before... I finish the story or oh I'm trying to hold off I really want to do this now but I want to hold off so that I have something to do later you know like you never have that feeling I have that feeling with a lot of games where it's like I don't want to do all of the triple triad stuff yet because I want to finish the game and then have something to do afterwards but like this you're never going to run out you know I mean you could if you spent 300 hours before you finish the game but you know how's it going Marsh you have more stuff to Ooh. I'll take the saucer squad. This is obviously for something super rare. 700. Okay, this stuff's looking like it's going to be for some special transfuse as well. So I'll get that stuff later. Got to get the Dio card. I'll just get all the cards for now. Then we come back later and get the special stuff. Eventually, eventually I'm going to want the books, but I barely even use my SP now. I use it when I feel like there's something specific I want, but other than that. Okay, 
All right. That's about to get spooky. And here we are. Let me uh, run to the bathroom real quick before we play the ghost. Be back in just a second. <laughs> All right. Roll my dice. Roll my dice. Roll my dice. Responsible for Queen's blood. Queen doesn't know what I'm up to yet, what I'm plotting, but we don't have long. Time is of the essence. You must show me what you are capable of before she discovers us. Sorry, I paused your roll my dices because I wanted to hear what he was saying. Ramu? Holy cow, look at Ramu. He just blows up the board. He ain't messing around. Okay, let's check out all these new cards I got. When played, raise the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by one. So she just powers up everything. Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by two. So these are all buff cards. Dang, Haunted Hotel is nuts. He's got to go in my buff deck. Dang, they're all like buff cards. They're all, like, perfect for the buff strategy, but I'm not doing the buff strategy anymore. Makes use of its adorable nature to enliven the battlefield. Okay. Scorecard. Add positions in the shape of a certain gold saucer attraction. That's terrible. Dang, man. Now I now I gotta go back to my enhanced deck. All those cards are like amazing for it. Yo, thank you yet for the gifted sub. Do I want a double death claw? Not really. Don't play the middle. No. Play the middle. No. He's not doing the thing I want him to do, guys. What do I do? Here we go. That's what we like to see. Kind of an awkward position here. Disastrous play. What is he thinking? I thought you were the creator of this game. What are we doing out here? Played Loveless. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I take that. Yeah, I take the whole board. It's gonna take my three. Yo, is this like the sickest play ever or what? If I do this, don't I take this and. He does, he does still get the pawn, though. Mm. 
That's going to be big. He's got lots of points. I got to be careful. Uh, let's see. Does this retroactively get the points or... No. It's got to be once it's down. All right, let's think here. So... I could blow up my dude down there. Honestly, I kind of just want to take this three while I have it. I think we're going to do that. Then see what he does. Oh, hate to see it. to see that so I could blow up all my cards with this but I don't think that's a good idea because I don't have stuff to replace it I could however replace this boy and get a couple oh that was not a good idea was it I blew it! I can't get this guy anywhere down? To help? What if I blow up... Oh, but see, I don't have any, like... All I have is... Hmm. I'm still getting a plus 10, though, so I still win. Yeah, that, that was not a good play, but I still win. Thanks to my... Plus 10 boy. Well played. Not that I ever truly doubted your potential. I was right to leave you that letter. Letter? What letter? You remember, don't you? The inn at Kong. I hung it on your door, though I signed it in the proprietor's name. So that was you? Forgive my subterfuge, but I was in dire need of a skilled player. And you certainly did not disappoint. You were even able to best me. Which, while impressive, won't be enough. Not if you intend to hold the Shadowblood Queen's card in your deck. That foul thing is the source of this nightmare. The very embodiment of the villain herself. Through the card, she feeds on the wielder's life force, claiming their strength, that she may one day be reborn. Countless players have succumbed to this vile curse. And now one more death is all she requires to return. Cloud, find the sorceress. She who rallied the people. She who deposed the queen, the Emerald Witch. Her card sleeps in Nibelheim with a monster of chaos. And there it shall remain until you can defeat Vincent. her wielder and prove yourself worthy of her power. Hurry, Cloud. The Queen must be stopped. Dude, I love it. So spooky. Welcome to the haunted hotel. And now he's replaced with this guy. I'm dying for I'm dying for a game. So it didn't show up on my map, so I don't know if I can do it yet. Oh. Yep, it's here. But where?
my fast travel's unavailable anyways, but... Hmm... See, like... It's a bit frustrating because I don't know if it's actually a mystery and I have to go find it, or if I just can't do it yet. Because every other thing that's ever been in this game you can't do it unless it's on the map, you know? So now I'm questioning, like, do I have to go find it for myself? Because it is showing one of two. Or is it just like everything else in the game, where if it's not on the map, it's not available yet? And they got these everywhere. All that gore and more. So is there actually somebody at every thing? Spooky. Where's the thingy? I'm guessing I have to go to the battle arena, but it was saying, like, find find everyone at different places, so I'm wondering if we can get date points. I bet you Tifa's here. Have yourselves a magical day. Never mind. Obviously, Red Thirteen. Hey. Sorry, but I haven't caught a whiff of Dio yet. Damn. Good race. Yeah. It'd be awesome if I could enter. As a jockey or a chocobo. <laughs> mm, either or. Keeping pace with humans doesn't make for good exercise. I gotta get back in shape. Red Thirteen, the chocobo. Here you go. Don't work at me. Then have a wonderful time. Hey there. You treating your chocobos right? I'm gonna get those, but they don't know what I do. Oh, hello, Mr. Strife. We're all looking forward to seeing you in action again. Why are you teaching me how to race? Oh yeah. That sounds like a Mario Kart 8 song. I'm a maiden? That's not gonna... That's not gonna do. Oh my god, look at these tracks! This is literally like... Mario, uh, Mario Kart... Size tournament. Literally more tracks than Chocobo GP. <laughs> In this game. Chocolate GP, I think, had like four locations, and then there was like four versions of each race, but it was just, you know, do it backwards or do it with one extra turn or whatever. Long or short. Can you please stream endlessly until the end of time? I got you. We're doing a possibly 16 hour stream next Wednesday. So if you want to just wake up and go to sleep and I'm streaming the entire time, that'll be the day. <laughs> oh, we get to pick the, oh my God. They all have different ability. This is, I'm blown away. Actually blown away. Also, I love the this thing makes my chocobo look evil. I mean, I gotta go Selena. She's got all the speed. She's got like no. Oh, I might go Bell actually. Plus, black chocobo is always my favorite. 
Enhance your traction and prevent being knocked back. Oh, that sounds terrible, though. Jump high into the air and extend flight time or avoid obstacles the shockwave made on landing knocks down nearby rivals. Glide just above the ground to avoid rough terrain, traps, and out-of-bound penalties. Once the gauge is full, gain the ability to fire a watery blast that homes in on its target. I don't know. Pico seems really good. I'm going to try Selena, though. Alright, hold on. I got to I guess I'm gonna buy this stuff, even though I don't know what it does. Take good care of your choco buddies. Which of these races will you be competing in? All right, so we got increases weight. And that also increases speed by quite a bit. Increase cornering, increase strength. Increase intelligence, which like. Speed and acceleration will make chocobos run faster. Weight will make them fly shorter but also harder to knock around. Quartering helps chocobos turn better. Strength keeps them from slipping. And intelligence affects the potency of their chocobo ability. Okay. I don't really care about intelligence. Dramatically increase all attributes if placed seventh or lower. Heading into the final lap. Wait, is there some kind of like goofy stay in the back and then blast forward strat you could do? And I bought this because I thought it'd be cool, but I actually like this better. But I don't have the... Oh, bowl set. Start races with part of the ability gauge filled. Oh my god, look at that speed. Slightly increase the speed if in first place heading into the final lap. Uh, that's amazing. Slightly increased speed if play 7th or lower. Lessen how much you slow down when damaged. Oh no, we're definitely 100%. Lessen how much you slow down when you leave the track. Increase drift duration and speed. Increase speed when running on inclines. Lessen how much you slow down when running on water. Start races with a dash. I think we're gonna be getting this. Actually, I want better cornering though. My cornering's really bad. I think we're gonna get these. So I have at least some cornering. By the way, this is not the right thing. That looks pretty good for our world gear. I can edit the colors. Dude, this is like... I love this so much. You can do so much with just the chocobo racing. literally more in depth than 16. You're not wrong. You're not even close to wrong. You are incredibly right. How do I R2 right? That's a no. X. I realized there's no water here, and I picked the water stuff, but honestly I just wanted the stats. 
I am doing the story. This is incredibly important for the story. How do I... <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh my god, my... Yeah, yeah. We might need some... What I mean... Might need some better turning stats. I feel like I'm turning a cement mixer. Kind of feels a bit like a bike in Mario Kart where, like, the cornering isn't great until I start a drift and then I'm like, then it's super cornering. So if I can just figure out a drift path that works, I'll be all set. Knock that guy out of the way. <gasps> I still can't make like really. I gotta. I gotta take the tight turns wide. Oh yeah, look at that line. See you later, nerds. You do hate to see that. What happens if I shoot this in first? Am I gonna actually wreck the guy in last? <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Or wait. Was he in second? Or he was in first, I think, wasn't he? I think I was in second. I think that guy was way ahead. I wasn't looking at my score. I to... Yeah, I was in second. That guy was just way ahead. Well, now I gotta know. What happens if I... I don't know if that's gonna hit anyone or not. God, this is so good. Okay. Uh, I want to try Pico. With the speed stuff. Oh my god, look at those stats. And then like... Maybe this... Those are some crazy stats. Pico's gonna take us to the green. Something about the... Um... Oh yeah. I keep forgetting it's X. <laughs> Putting myself at a severe disadvantage at the beginning of every race. Um, something about the way the menus and stuff look just reminds me of the Chow Garden. From Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Honestly, hitting the grass isn't even that bad. If you get a boost out of it. Jeez! Okay, Pico is nuts. Like... Oh, I could, like, cut through the water there. Especially if I had the water boots. Man, there's so much to this. It's genuinely impressive how, like... Even the gear you bring into a certain race is going to affect stuff. How far you fly is going to, like, change the route you can take. 
There's so much thought put into this. the other way. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Now I'm even faster because of my victory lap. Is that Vivi? I wonder what happens if you land in there. Out of bounds penalty. They did say something about an out of bounds penalty. So that could two picks you up. The boost does not work through the water. I was hoping I could like Mario Kart 8 shortcut and boost through the water, but you just still get slowed. I'm bronze. Man, this is just too much fun. And then this is only the first cup and then there's grade two. I cannot wait to do all this, holy moly. Five potions, let's freaking go! Well, to go back on what I said earlier about the gold saucer, I still feel like it's just another side quest area. Like, it's not anything... You know, it doesn't feel like the original Gold Saucer where you can like come back to it and do like the games and have it be kind of this replayable thing. The only thing that it does have that feels truly replayable is the Queen's Blood thing and Chocobo Racing. But having said that, now that we've seen the Chocobo Racing, I will say the Chocobo Racing is incredibly deep. So it does have that going for it. To kind of go against what I said before. Or, uh, uh, you know, play Devil's Advocate. The Chocobo Racing is extremely deep, so you could, I could see you coming back here multiple times throughout the game and continuing to get a bit further in the Chocobo Racing. And the Battle Arena, but everywhere has a Battle Arena. I've done like four Battle Arenas at this point, but yeah. I'm hoping that the Battle Arena is the most. But it's not going to be, though. I was going to say, I was hoping the battle arena would be, like, the most in-depth battle arena, but obviously, Chadley's is going to be the most in-depth one, so. I don't want to go to Speed Square. Welcome, cadets, to Space Ranger HQ. Our mission today is a final one, and we will meet your whole target. Oh, of course Sid is here. Just so you know, Dio ain't here. Oh, that was it. <laughs> That's all he has to say. Daunting proposition in and of itself. But just getting there is no picnic neither. I'd still go in a heartbeat, though. Fight, too, if I had to. Hell, I'd kill for the chance. Your actions will not only the outcome of this war, but the So is there even... There probably is. I don't even want to do another difficulty of this. It's just going to be the same thing again. Ready for blast off. Although, Space Ranger Medal of Honor does sound dope. Pass it on that for now. And the song. Oh, 
I think I said this when we came here the first time, but this is like the type of music I would listen to normally. This is like my style of music at the moment. Wait, apparently I missed one of my teammates in Ghost Square. Bye, Barrett. Oh, hey Cloud. Doesn't look like Dio's around here. Do any of them realize war is about to break out? They do, but people always think war is someone else's problem until they're in the thick of it. Cloud, you're not wrong. I gotta be honest. Mm -hmm. For the longest time, I wanted to do everything. I wanted to fight for the planet, convince people to stand up, take action with us. But it's like. I always come up short. Always. No matter what I try. I'm in over my head. Or maybe you are lost. But knowing your limits is one of the keys to knowing yourself. You're not. And we're not the dumb kids who fell off Mount Nebo anymore. We're not powerless. And we're not alone. So don't ever stop trying, Tifa. Ever. You just gotta stick it out. Don't give up now. Okay. Thanks. I needed that. Alright. Now let's go find Dio. Yeah, shut up, cat. You know what you're talking about. Come up short. <laughs> Where could Dio be? That was actually pretty great. Usually the characters just kind of agree with each other. I mean, not usually, but you know what I mean. Like, it's easy just to have the characters be like, Yeah, Tifa, go. I love how he was like, Yeah, maybe you are. Cloud's like, no. I know you better than than you than the cat does. Do a barrel roll. Do you think Aerith will be in the event square? It's kind of a a nod. It's Barrett. <laughs> Barrett bait. Bad news. No sign of Dio whatsoever. While we're talking, did you know this is where Jesse used to perform? Yeah. Oh. If she was with us, she'd probably be gushing about the role she played. Or maybe not. Maybe she'd be mad to see this place burning through more Mako than ever. Either way. She'd have kept us entertained. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? One day, mm. I'm gonna be singing there she is. Gotta be Aerith, right? Oh, I guess Vincent. <laughs> I guess Vincent could be here. What the? Yang is excited. Chadley's also randomly Hello here. There, Cloud. Are you enjoying yourself here at the Gold Saucer? Four years ago, the park underwent extensive renovations and was outfitted with state-of-the-art technology. Even today, the Gold Saucer continues to expand with new attractions currently in the works. Look at this terrifying picture. Is that the Queen of Cards? Where'd he go? I saw him. Oh, it's right there. You better believe it's Vincent. Alright. Good combo. Excellent design. Very easy. 
<laughs> is Vincent gonna be like comic relief? Because there's been like three different lines where he's been like unironically funny. I feel like he's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be like a dirge vibe with him. Where he's like edgy to a fault. Key card. <laughs> All right, uh, Battle Square is the last place we gotta go. So let's break here. And then uh, we'll come back after lunch and we will go to the battle arena.